the Ryu Jinx and the Suyu emulator, they've been having difficulties loading this particular game, myself included, but you know we found a way to play. If you're using the Ryu Jinx emulator, it's quite simple how to get the game to start. What you'll do is go to options. After you go to options, you'll go to settings. Once you're here, you'll find a tab that says systems. Once you are at systems, you'll go down where it says hacks. Once you're at hacks, you'll simply click where it says ignore missing service. Once you do that, all you have to do is hit apply, OK, exit out, and double click and start the game, and it should go ahead and start for you. If you're not using the Ryu Jinx emulator, just continue watching this video, and I'm going to show you how to play on another emulator. So what you're going to need for this particular method, I want to introduce to you a different emulator called Sadachu. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. All emulators are the same with the setup. So once we get in there, I will not show you how to set it up, but I will direct you to the video of the setup of the Suyu emulator. And if you follow that step by step, it should help you out tremendously. So what I want you to do is go to the link in the description. The link in the description should have the download for the Sadachu emulator and it should also have a gift for you. I want you all to go ahead and download that for me. Once you go ahead and download that, I want you to go ahead and unzip that file. Go ahead and open it up and you should be greeted by a message that says this. You have to add the product keys to this particular emulator. I will not be showing you how to download the product keys or where to get them from, but if you downloaded the link in my description and you did it properly, you have everything so you can be successful for this particular download. Once you add the product keys and simply put OK, you should be good. Now we're going to go ahead and add our games. We're going to double click right here in the middle and we're going to find the folder that has our ROMs in it. If you downloaded the link in the description, you now have a gift that you can add to this folder. Once you go to the folder with your ROMs located in it, you just want to select the folder and all your ROMs should pop up for you. If you need help configuring anything on this emulator, I want you to go to this particular video right here. Trust me, it'll help you tremendously. All emulators are set up the same. Once you set up your controller for the emulator and you set up everything to your life.